Okay, I really need to make a new intro because that one was on my old computer and it's laggy and glitchy, but whatever. Okay, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, make sure to like and subscribe. You don't have to, but it'd be great, greatly appreciated if you did. Okay, so basically in this video, as you would have read in the title, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock Golden Hills Valley or just unlocking it. I guess you could say this is a let's play video, except it's kind of, except I'm going to be walking you through how to get it. So you're going to have to go to Tyra and you will get the Techno Quest. Now this is the start of the Golden Hills Valley Quest line things to get into. The, oh, sorry, I cannot speak today. So you're going to have to go to Landon. I'm calling for pickup. Landon is the one with the sheep near the, if you don't know, just catch the trailer to Steve's farm and follow where I go. Okay, so you, this is Landon. And um, once you get there, you're going to have to get um, another quest, which is called a watchdog. Okay, then basically what you have to do is take Techno back to Tyra and then you'll get another quest. So I'm just going to run there very quickly. Well, I'm going to run back to Steve's farm so that I can catch the trailer to there because even though Amethyst Pearl is almost level 15, she's really slow because I haven't cared for her in ages or anything. Okay, so um, now you get a quest called Show Techno His New Home. And this, um, this quest takes a long time because, so basically you have to feed Techno the treats and walk with him down to the riding hall. I'm going to speed this up because you don't want to see this because um, it takes a long time and this video is already going to go for a long time. So every time he stops basically you just have to feed him um, a bone or whatever the food things are and then you follow him and he stops here down at the riding hall and then you have to go and I'm just going to catch the trailer but you have to go back to Tyra at Silverglade Manor. I am just really lazy. Okay, so here you're back at Tyra and now you have the little clock thingy and you have to wait till the next day. I hate quests where you have to wait till the next day, but oh well. Okay, so I am back. It is the next day and yeah, I've changed outfits, horses and everything and I'm back at Tyra. Okay, she is going to give me the next quest. Um, on the storyline. So this quest um, is you have to take Techno's dog can um, dog kennel thingy down to him, like the dog house, whatever you want to call it. Um, you have to basically, I'm just going to catch the trailer down to the riding hall because I'm too lazy, but you have to, or riding arena, whatever you want to call it. I just realized that it says that in the trailer. And you have to click on that and put down the house for Techno and then run all the way back to the riding hall or just catch the trailer if you already have. Depends on what level you are doing these quests. You should be doing them around level 15 or 16. Now don't worry, you will see once you've done that quest that there is no more quest from Tyra. Okay, but now you need to go over and run over to the Baroness just here. She has another quest for you. So once you've done that quest, it unlocks this quest over here. And this isn't a very big quest, this one here, because you just need to talk to the Baroness and I talk to her again and you'll get Techno's old blanket. Um, yeah, I guess you just use it as a blanket for your horse. But this is basically just Techno's old blanket. Okay, don't worry. I was really confused at first until I watched some tutorials on how to unlock it because I thought that I wasn't doing the valley quest but anyway now that quest unlocks this one in Silverglade so you need to ride to the councilman in Silverglade village or near Steve's farm and it's called why is the gate still closed so you need to speak to the councilman and he tells you that the Golden Hills Valley Gate is always closed in winter because of the mystical snow ghosts and other dangerous winter spirits that... L oh, I can't read that. Ramage this 
yeah okay whatever you can read that yourself pause the video if you wanted to read that okay and now in this one you're going to go and have to ride over to the castle to look at a painting so I got stuck there you have to ride on over to the castle and talk to the painting and then you have to um, it's a painting of Mayor Claus which is the mayor of Golden Hills Valley and he has the golden key around his neck okay so you can so you have to run back to the councilman and tell him because apparently you think that you can um, unlock you can make a replica of the key by taking a photo of it so you're gonna to have to speak to the councilman again and he thinks that it is a great idea the next part in the quest is that you have to go to James in Fort Pinter and you have to speak to James and get his camera I'm gonna catch the trailer there because um, apparently James has a good photograph uh, photographing camera so you have to talk to him and you have to get his camera and then so you have to I'm going to call for pickup because my home stable is at Steve's farm then you have to run back over to the castle and take a photo of the painting or the key in particular so that they can attempt to make a replica of the key well soon you'll find out how you do that so you have to take the camera down to Derek because Derek the mailman needed to use it after you Derek gives you um, another quest and in this quest basically um, he prints the photograph for you of the key because he's just nice and then you have to go and talk to the councilman hmm Okay, so I'm just winging this. Okay, so now you have to go and ride to Conrad Marcin or Marston. I've never been able, I never know how to say that. Marston, Marcin, whatever. I'm too lazy to ride there once again because I just have heaps of Yorvik shillings to use. I'm not bragging, but you have to go to Conrad Marcin. He is Mar Marston, whatever. And you have to talk to him. And he needs more iron ore, so you'll get the quest called more iron ore, obviously. And you have to ride to the Deskusus mine, I don't know. And you have to um, drag the pickaxe thingy, pickaxe thingy onto the um, thing and speak to Conrad again to get the iron ore. And so then... This quest, I'm not sure whether it's this one or, but there's a quest that takes a really long time. Oh uh, yes, it's this one. So basically, you have to put your horse a bit of a further distance away, and you are going to be doing some blacksmithing. So there's a countdown, and you have to yeah get off your horse, then you have to run over here, and basically, you have so when it says heat the iron on the forge. You have to run over to there and you have to drag the um, the two thingies onto it, not the hammer, the other thing. And then when it says work the iron on the anvil, you have that amount of time and you have to get the hammer and drag it on there. And then when it says cooling, cool the iron in the water, you just grab the um, two stick thingies again. Um, I'm gonna, this takes, it does take a pretty long time, this one. Um, I'm just speeding it up. Yeah, as you saw just then, it says sometimes it says cooling in the water, and obviously, um, um, yeah, that's cooling iron. You have to cool it in the water sometimes. And I actually kind of found this quest a bit interesting because I never knew how they, um, how blacksmiths did their thingy, blacksmith thingy. Then, yeah, you have to cool it in the water and there you go um, it just goes on for a certain amount of time and then you have to go back and talk to Conrad who is back at his normal spot doing his blacksmithing and yeah I didn't realize that it was a three-day quest I thought it was only a two-day quest but that's why this 
video took a bit longer than usual to come out. I actually made this like a week ago, but anyway, okay. So it is the next day, as you can see the time of day has changed and I am back and the key is ready. So you talk to Conrad and he gives you the key. So you have to talk to him again or he will give you the key in a minute. But first he's just telling you a bit about Golden Hills Valley. I already know a lot about it. But other than that, yeah, okay. Don't ask why I'm on a Morgan. I was, I'm doing this thing where I train all my horses to level 5. Okay, my thing glitched there. Then to level 10 and everything. So you drag the key onto the gate and you have to do it three times before it actually works. It'll say didn't work, so don't worry. Once you drag it the third time, you talk to the gate and then it will open. And voila, you have unlocked Golden Hills Valley. I hope this quest, um, this video was helped you, help if you liked it make sure to like and subscribe but there have been a lot of things that have happened to me since I made this video um, so I'm gonna show you some of them now I did a lot more quests in Golden Hills Valley I did one with the Dark Rider and I was really excited when I got this quest because I just realized I've been talking for like 10 minutes or something um, also I unlocked the gate to P, you know, the witch P, and I did some more soul rider quests. I, ha I did one where I had to follow the dark rider. Um, that quest is a bit later on, I think. I'm not sure, but you'll see that quest soon. Um, yeah, so this was very tricky. I had a hard time getting it to P's house because if you fall in the water it sends you like back to the start or back home I'm not sure I didn't fall but P um she um she's very mean because in a quest the first quest you do when you talk to her she actually turns you and your horse she turns you into a frog and your horse into a little stick pony and I was just I was really sad when she did this, but it's not forever because then you get this little screen that comes up and says the spell is broken and P is not in the mood for talking. So you basically just have to run back to Alex and then talk to him again. I did a lot of reading with Linda in the library and I had to do some more blacksmithing, of course, for another quest, but it only gave me 5 XP and I was really sad about that. So this is the Follow the Dark Rider quest, and I have to say, this is probably one of my favourite quests. My friends told me about this ages ago, and we actually used to pretend that we were, um, that we were, we used to play this game in my backyard or their backyard, and one of us would be the Dark Rider, and we would have to follow them without being seen. And I was actually so excited when I got to do this quest, but basically you have to um, stay far enough away that she doesn't see you and close enough that you don't lose her. Obviously the wolves don't get her and you have to follow her up to um, the gate to Pease and she um, unlocks the North Iron Gate but closes it behind her so that you cannot um, get through. Okay, and I was really excited because I got up to Admired with Firegrove. Um, I did races and quests every day to try and get reputation, and I could finally buy the shirt that I had been wanting to for so long. It is this beautiful red cardigan. I have the orange one now. I just need I have now I just need the pink one from here and the yellow, and I also have the purple. And yeah, okay, this was a funny clip. I thought it was kind of funny of Linda riding on my back <laughs> and I um, have memorized finally going through here so many times um, the labyrinth shores I have memorized a way to get through it which took me a while um, this is a clip of me unlocking um, Scarecrow Hill um, with the bolt cutters Obviously, in this clip, the gate doesn't open straight away, but um, in the next clip you see, you will see. Okay, I 
in this quest I had to attempt to get up Scarecrow Hill. This this is the first time I've been here in the sky. I didn't realize it looks so creepy. Of course, I got caught by the thingies and um yeah. Um this this yeah, this is an outfit I made with the new thing, but I found I think there's one of these in Fort Pinter that I've seen, but I thought it was, sorry, that was my headphones. I thought it was really cool, this place. I don't know, just, but look at that paw. Look at, um, not paw, oh my god, this is, these are not cats, that hoof is so bent. Okay, these next few clips are, so I was, I've been wanting this jumper for a long, long time, and I was trying to save up for it with Jorvik shillings which took about three days of doing chores and races and stuff, other stuff, just to get Yorvik shillings. So that was at Moorland Stables. This is at Fort Pinter Stables. Um, or, I'm not sure if you call it Fort Pinter Stables or not, but anyway. Also, big thing, I got up to level 16, and apparently you get up to level 17. Once you get up to level 17, you can unlock a pona. Also, shout out to Luna Miss Sparrow who, she was really kind, she's one of my friends, but um, that was at Valleydale, and this is at Yorvik Stables, but she is one of my friends, and she is very, she was very nice, she was, I didn't ask how to unlock a Pona, because she recently unlocked a Pona, but she was just telling me that if you want to unlock a Pona, you need to be, have a good reputation, and start, to start building up my reputation with, um, the GED at Yalaheim, because otherwise I won't unlock a pony to level 18 or 19. Unfortunately, I don't have any reputation daily quests with them yet, but hopefully I will get some soon. These were just some races I was doing, and also the first part of the quest, you may be wondering why Amethyst Pearl, my Frisian, was level 14, when in another video I did she was level 15. Well, that's just because um, uh, this video was made before the other one. Okay, I got stuck on a rock, but in this clip here, so I was trying not to use the trailer because I had no um, star coins and I didn't want to use my Jorvik shillings, so I had to run everywhere. And after a lot of um, effort, I finally had enough money to buy the jumper I have been wanting to buy for a long, long, long time. I used to see people wearing it all the time, and I would just really, really want it. And so this is the jumper. It is the Red Knitted Valleydale sweater, which surprisingly is from Cape West Fishing Village. I'm saving up for the white one, but it is, but I don't have enough money right now. And I thought this was outrageous, but I did a quest, okay? It was a fishing one. And... But it said, if you don't have a fishing rod, you need to buy one from Mr. Loop first. So I actually, I didn't actually buy it because I was saving, but I actually had to buy a fishing rod if I wanted to do the quest. Oh, and after I bought all of the um, that shirt, I realized I didn't have a saddle pad or any leg wraps that actually matched it, which I was really upset about. And I don't know if there is any that do match it. I've seen people wearing it. But anyway, this is the outfit that I have to wear for now with just white leg wraps and white saddle pad or whatever you want to call it, saddle pad blanket. And yeah, I actually like this outfit. Don't ask why I have brown hair. I just like changing my hair all the time. And now I have brown hair. I had to do two more races after that so that I could care for my horse, well, my one horse, and in the end, I was left with one Jorvik shilling and one star coin. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry if it was a bit long and boring, but goodbye. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.